Okay, guys. I have spent the entire day working on a project, taking a discarded sectional and basically redoing it so that my son and his girlfriend would have it for his apartment. So right now I'm actually on the way over there. We're taking it over, gonna set it up, but first we'll back up to the beginning and you can watch uh, the video on how we took some trash and made it into a treasure. I know this isn't a usual kind of video that I put on this channel. When you're self-employed, you gotta be pretty much a jack of all trades. After we're done here, I have to go over to my brother's and change out his brakes on his van. So in this circumstance, we paid 50 bucks and a day's worth of work to have an awesome sectional for his living room. And in my brother's circumstances, it's a, basically about 40 bucks for the new brakes and a couple hours of work, as opposed to pulling into Monroe and paying them four or five hundred bucks to do them. Check out the video, we're gonna rewind to the beginning now and uh, let me know what you think of it in the comments below. I think it turned out pretty dang good for 50 bucks. My son and his girlfriend just moved into their first apartment and they don't have any uh, any furniture in their living room yet and really not much money to buy any. My neighbors down the street here moved out about a week ago and we pulled this couch out of the trash. It is a sectional and it was actually pretty crappy and uh, so I washed everything down here. The cushions over here are in pretty bad shape. I mean the foam itself looks pretty good. It, it's it's still you know holds its uh, its form and everything but the actual covers here are pretty worn. But I just thought it would be cool to document this and see what kind of a nice little uh, starter living room set we can create out of this, um, you know, for them to have something in their living room instead of sitting on the floor. So like I said, I washed down all this fake leather around the edges of, uh, of both pieces here. I'm going to sweep all of this out. I'm actually going to cut the bottom fabric off. Um, just, you know, so that whatever's underneath there, if anything, we can clean it all out. Because really, why would you need that on there anyway? These are all loose. The back here is really loose down here, so I'm going to have to strengthen that wood all around. So I went ahead and tore the bottom off there, and the springs look really good. A little rusty, but that's no problem. This down here is a little loose, so I'm going to have to pound that back in. This is nice and tight between here. A little bit of dirt and leaves in here, but there's no evidence that mice have been in here. I see no evidence of bugs whatsoever. And that's one thing you really got to watch out for if you get uh, furniture or mattresses or anything out of somebody's garbage. Okay, so far I've cleaned everything up, wiped everything down. I opened up the bottoms. That's how it looks so far. I uh, tightened up all the joints, all the places where it joins together. Tightened up all the feet and uh, swept everything off. Double checked everything, including all the the cushions for any kind of evidence of bugs or anything like that and then I Febreze the hell out of it all so we're gonna head out to Walmart get some things to recover these cushions and some uh, some pillows we're gonna do it as cheap as we can and make it look as good as we can for as cheap as we can okay fifty dollars and seventeen cents later we're ready to go home and build the rest of our couch Okay, so what we got to work with here, we spent a total of $50.17. We got six of these huge jumbo mainstays pillows, $3.97 each. They're actually pretty big. Um, then we got three different colors of pillowcases. There's, uh, these are two packs. They were like $5.47 each. So we got three of those, like a light brown, brown, and a dark brown. So that'll look nice. We got some uh, 
safety pins to safety pin on the bottom when we put the new covering over the the seat cushions and then we got now this is black but it was only a dollar per yard on clearance it's a nice stretchy material it feels basically like a thick t-shirt so that'll go over that nice it'll stretch over it so we'll see how this how this turns out okay so all we did was just take some of the material lay it down put this on top cut it to fit and then stuck a couple of safety pins in there it's rigged up pretty good but uh, but it makes a new pillow covers it perfectly fine you won't even see the seams when you uh, when you put the pillows on there together and it's a good stretchy material so when you sit down on it it will stretch and it won't pull too much on those safety pins okay so so far this is what we started out with we've got one half done and this is what we're coming up with here so this one is by far the most difficult because of this little nook right here but uh, but I mean it'll work for uh, the pillowcases we've got a dark brown a lighter brown and a like an eggshell or very light brown I guess you could say now luckily I have a t-shirt press so I'm gonna take these out and press them first and then we're gonna use this stuff called stitch witchery which is actually like a roll of tape only it's a uh, uh, I don't even know how to explain it. It's like a material that melts and it will fuse together the fabric instead of having to actually sew it. Okay, so this is the stitch witchery. Like I said, it looks like a roll of tape. Um, it's just like a rubber or a plastic that melts to hold the stuff together. This is how I'm doing the pillows right here. We decided to fold it down in and then you put the stitch witchery in between there and then we just press it in the t-shirt press. And unless you don't have a t-shirt press, of course, as not many people do, then you have to use an iron. But, uh, but it works the same way, and that's just like it was stitched. Probably not as tough, but, you know, makes a nice little pillow there. Okay, so the pillows are all done. That was hot. And uh, we got them mocked up here on the porch just to see how it looks. And then we're going to go over to the apartment, take this stuff over, and set it up. So this is what we got so far. So that doesn't look too shabby for a total of $50.17 and a day's worth of work. We're going to get them over there to the apartment, set them up, and be done for now. We'll have to do the table later on. Okay, so we don't have much light, but there is the finished product over there. Looks pretty good. I wish we had a little bit more light so you could see it better, but, uh, but that's what it is. Turned out pretty good for a day's work and $51. Bucks. Mm -hmm. 